What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Game Dude, who welcome you guys back to another episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. And in the last episode, we started Chapter 6. We already got to investigation of Chapter 6. Let's go, us. Definitely didn't take, like, a short amount of time to get here. But yeah, so in the last episode, we actually got back to a familiar location. Oh, hi. Yeah, we got back to a very familiar location for us. Oh! Hi. I'm a, I wonder if the vending, the, the, well, I mean, I guess we're not really going to have free time because we're already in investigations. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are we on the fifth floor? Huh? That's weird. This is the hallway I walked through to get to the, this, is this, this is the hallway I walked through to get to the gymnasium, but it's clearly different. Is this what is doing too? Is he trying to confuse us again? I don't know what he's doing. He keeps doing it over and over again. He's so persistent. But I'm not going to fall for his trap. There's no way they're going to make me back down. It is so insane. I'm going to go to the biochem lab area. If I can. I might not be able to, though. Like, am I, I'm not able to go through these doors. Yeah, no, I'm not. Oh, my God. And I'm gaining a lot of XP right here, too. So, like, I don't know why my XP is going up that much faster. Oh, my God. I don't know what's causing XP to go up so fast. But I'm definitely nervous. Okay, so we can go through this door. No, we can't go through this door. Oh, my God. Okay. Can we go to the headmaster's room? This is not the floor for that, so no. Why did... Oh, the garden? No. What? The dojo? Oh, we can go to the dojo! I like how I remember where everything is, though. It's actually insane. This is the dojo. It's full of strange things that make you think there's no way to inside a school. Perhaps it's a mistake to... Ex to expect the building inside of the building to make sense. A book. Huh? What is this? Is this a manga? The title is Manga for Morons, A History of the Hope Speak Academy by Monokuma. But why is a manga with such a suspicious looking title laying out open like this? <laughs> uh, let's start with history first, class. Reading the manga is the third best way to learn about history. Then what's the first, you ask? That depends on the person. So just as I thought Monica made this, it totally explains how suspicious it looks. I really want to just ignore it, but there's no way we can do that. Fine, I'll look at it. I'll look at anything that might be a clue to getting out of here, no matter what it is. I picked up the manga off the floor and started flipping through the pages. An introduction to Hope Speak Academy's history as narrated by the cutesy character on the cover. The story begins with an introduction to Hope Speak Academy. Hope Speak Academy is a government-funded school of privilege. There is only the most talented high school students that Hope can to, uh, hope to attend. Built to raise hope the nation, uh, in the nation's future, many of its alumni are key leaders of various industries. New students are chosen through the scouting process, but the ones who scout them are Hope Speak Academy's teachers, who serve as both educators and researchers of talent. Hope Speak Academy isn't just a school for talent. It is also a school for researching talent as well. However, for the past few years, Hope Speak Academy has been suffering a decline in funding. If this persists, the Academy believes they will not be able to make progress with their research for talent. So they describe, decided to implement a new system, the Reserve Department. Unlike the main department, who scouts for students, the Reserve Department utilizes general entrance exams. Normal faculty was hired in place and placed in charge of looking after that Reserve Department. The expenses and exam fees of, for the Reserve Department are quite high compared to most high schools. Nevertheless, Hope Speak Academy received the endless stream of applications. Hope Speak Academy was now available to the talentless commoners, people who only cared about the brand. With Hope Speak Academy, what hopes with this, Hope Speak Academy managed to amass a sizable amount of funds and began further research of talent. To create Hope Speak Academy's earnest wish, a true genius who would become mankind's hope, but 
Just when they thought everything was going well, an unprecedented incident occurred. The incident that triggered the tragedy. The biggest, most awful, tr most tragic event in human history. That's right. It was the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Academy was crippled by the incident and was forced to shut down without accomplishing anything. The end. Huh? The ending was so sudden, like a manga that was suddenly cancelled in the middle of its run. Plus, the phrases mentioned at the end of this manga, the tragedy, and the tragedy of the Hope's Peak Academy... The names are so melodramatic, there's no way these incidents actually happened, right? The manga only mentions the names, so I don't really know the details, but no. It could just be a waste to wonder about things that don't make sense. More importantly, as I learned about, I learned something about this, of this manga, or because of this manga, the reserve department. The department was built only to collect money. I was one of the reserve course students, right? But hold on. Huh, that's weird. Oh, you're here again. Ah, the whole thing is weird. The whole thing that's weird is you, of course. Huh? Hey, hey. Why? Did you forget that you were a part of the reserve department? The Future Foundation only took away the memories of your school life memories, right? But you should have known but even before you entered you that you had no talent, right? So I think it's weird that you actually forgot something like that, too. What do you want me to say? Uh, based on my assumption, the Fuji Foundation must have wanted to hide the fact that you were one of the Reserve Corps students. Uh, or you were willingly sealed your memories, your, the memories yourself, huh? You wanted to be confident in yourself. You wanted to forget everything that embarrassed you. You know, when humans experience trauma, sometimes they erase the memory of what happened. It happens pretty often. Not that I would know anything about that, though. Are you saying it was my fault I forgot? That's not it. Uh, when things get inconvenient, you always get angry and they try and brush it off. Well, that was expected of a reserve course student. Damn it, what the heck? The reserve department was added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. There's a straw post. I guess that means it was used for training. I don't think there's anything else in here. Yeah, I mean, there's really... It's an armor and helmet. Did the map developers design the reflect... Okay, there's nothing else here. Okay. It was just the one thing. Which means the garden... But the garden wasn't accessible. We confirmed that earlier. Are we able to go to the fourth floor? Probably. No. What other room can we investigate then? Maybe it's getting the accounts. What's going on? The hallway is kind of creepy. I can't go to places that I, I should be able to go in. It's like some rule being enforced for no reason. <laughs> it's like there was an invisible wall or something. Oh, jeez, Louise. Wait. This classroom's open now. It might have been open the whole time and I just didn't notice it. Pfft. Okay. Let me double check my pet. This is another manga. It's laying on top of the desk. Um, this one is Manga for Morons. Tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy, huh? Wasn't the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy mentioned in the other manga too? That it's why Hope's Peak Academy went bankrupt and it was the trigger for the biggest, most tragic, most awful event in human history. I if I read this manga, I will be will I be able to return uh, learn a little bit more about the incident? It took a I took the manga from the desk and started flipping through the pages to see what I could learn about the event as the, known as the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. The story made have or made heavy use of outdated stylized drawings depicting characters solving mysteries. What's written here is the names as the name suggests, the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy occurred at Hope's Peak Academy. A key player in that event was the student named 
Izuro Kamukara. Izuru was a genius known as the symbol of hope. Hope's Peak Academy used all their resources to develop him. Supposedly, Izuru was a genius among geniuses and possessed various talents, wielding superior talent for the hope of mankind. The Academy referred to Izuru as the ultimate hope. To protect such a rare talent, the Academy completely concealed all the evidence of Izuru's origin and identity. Because of that, most of the students at the Academy were completely unaware of Izuru's existence. But Izuru, who was known as the symbol of hope, was responsible for that a horrible incident. Thirteen students at Hope Speak Academy student council, thirteen students of Hope Speak Academy student council, among the Academy's best and brightest, were brutally murdered by Izuru. However, the incident did not end there. The Academy tried to protect Izuru's superior talent and concealed the incident as though it had never happened. However, a certain student began working in secret to use the incident to their advantage. That student uncovered the, what the Academy did and made it public knowledge. It stroked, it stroked the fires of the Reserve Department students who had long been dissatisfied with how they've been treated. And the up spring began. And that heralded Hope Peaks Academy's destruction. This eventually, or this is the entirety of the tragedy of Hope Peak Academy. Eventually that incident would lead to a horrifying, devastating incident. The incident that would be known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Works cited. Danganronpa slash zero. With a heavy sigh, I close the manga. Am I supposed to believe this? There's no way 13 people were killed at Hope's Peak Academy. Irony for a genius known as the ultimate hope to cause a gruesome incident. A talent that was too regal for society. It's just like saying buy juice with a bar of gold. <laughs> you should be so lucky that you're incompetent. Damn it, he always has to lead up with something up with has to lead up to something offensive. He seriously misses me off. But the ultimate hope. Now you don't mention that before. But it looks like it means something completely different here. But what Nagido said was the true meaning of hope. But for Izuru, hope simply means talent. More importantly, a genius that possesses various talents. I, I wish they'd be given one of those talents. They'd given me one of those talents. So I didn't have to go to be in the reserve department. That's right, the reserve department. Here it said the reserved course students in the reserve department began the upspring. Then what about me? Was I a participant too? No, that's not possible. There's no way. I have no reason to do something like that. Tragedy of Hope's Peak has been added to Truth Bullets. Anyway, I learned about the Tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy, but the biggest, most awful event in tragic or in human history is a far worse incident, right? What kind of incident was it? And who is the other student that isn't Izuru? A certain student who secretly used the incident to their advantage. Who is that? This incident is really messed up. But it's, all it's doing is raising more questions. The mysteries keep piling up. Now we'll probably get to a new floor. No. Oh, it's going to be this kind of situation where it's going to open up a, each one, one room at a time. Ew. Well, not you, but it's going to just cause me to walk around a lot. So this room is next. Usami! I I made a Wait, it's is it did I make a monomy? <laughs> okay, well I can't give it any despair still, but look at me go! I did a good, I think. I don't know. Yeah, so now we can go to the bio lab. And there's gonna be a book, yep. What in the hell is this room? It's freaking cold in here! It's like a freezer or something! If I just stand still, I might end up freezing to death! I should hurry up and investigate so I can get out of here already. There's another manga just laying around here. And this title is... Manga for Morons. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. I knew it. The next one would obviously be about this incident. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, huh? What was the incident really about? It might turn out to be something lame. 
I flipped through the pages of the manga and helped that I would be right. A story about a creepily drawn or about creepily drawn characters who get involved in such a horrifying incident. An incident known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Is this drawn so grotesquely because the incident itself was that grotesque? Anyway, the beginning of this is creepy. The manga starts with this sentence. The tragedy of the Mo Hope's Peak Academy would simply trigger, at first, the uprising by the reserve course students that triggered the tr a tragedy at Hope's Peak Academy. It was initially hoped to be, re excuse me, to be resolved quickly. But the situation continued to escalate to a dangerous extremes. The movement started spreading all over the internet and fostered a thriving online community. The community was not limited to students and people of various races and nations began joining in as well. But the movement was not confined to the internet and began spreading and eroding into the real world. When the movement started, it was indistinguishable from any other demonstration inspired by social unrest. But as it spread across the world, certain abnormalities soon came to light. But by then, it was too late. The ends and the means had vanished. And wanton destruction became their only goal. The strong butchered the weak. The weak killed the weakest among them. And, as, as, and soon, the weak formed factions to brutally murder the strong. As the violence and death continued to spread, the shock of their actions began to disappear. As the era was re regressing to a more uncivilized times, when senseless deaths were the norm. The media was oversaturated with deaths to the point where people who would watch them, people would watch them while enjoying a meal. By that time, the world realized it had become or what it, what it had become. It was too late to stop what had happened. A feeling of immense despair began spreading and eventually engulfed the world. The acts of terrorism, the coup d'etats de, de began occurring around the war, uh, war world. A war wa raid waged in the name of despair. A war fought not for principles, religion, or personal gain. Just war. F purely for war. And because of that, there's no way to resolve it. How could a movement startled or started by high school students progress to such a hopeless scenario? The only explanation is the existence of a certain organization devoted to a certain student who influenced Hope's Peak Academy. The group called the Ultimate Despair. Instead of using Hope Peak Academy's talents for the sake of mankind's hope, they use it for the sake of mankind's despair. Key members of society use their influence to brainwash the masses in order to spread despair. Tech savvy computer programs wrote software to spread that despair. The powerful and influential created new values and morals to spread despair. And with this, they created the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. As long as the ultimate despair exists, the despair engulfing the world will never end. The tragedy will never end. My heart was racing in my chest, and but my body felt ice cold. And it wasn't because of the freezing in this room. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history that's definitely all made up. I mean, if it's really true, then what's happening in the outside world? Oh. No, Monica, I'm not. My family, my friends, the convenience store I frequent nearby, the bookstore, my favorite restaurant. What happened to them? Ah, hey, hey, are you seriously yelling at a manga? How crazy are you? Who would enjoy reading something like this? Oh my, you don't like manga? A high school student who doesn't like manga is like an office lady who doesn't like to eat candy. Enough. What is this messed up manga? Oh, I thought you'd obviously know such a horrible event that destroyed the world, but for you not to remember, oh my gosh, that's such despair. That's the Future Foundation's fault, though, thanks to stealing your school memories. The incident that happened during that period has completely been removed from your brains. That incident really happened, and I actually forgot about it? There's no way that's possible. How many times do I have to tell you all the clues here are real? Please understand that I am rooting for you. If you don't learn to the full extent of the outside world, you guys will suffer for it. I just want to help you guys so you can live to a well-adjusted life in the outside world. I see that's how it is. That's what he meant by what he said at the beginning. Well, as the headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know. On one hand, I'm really happy that you're really finally going to graduate. 
On the other hand, I am worried about you guys. Or whether you guys will be okay on the outside world. That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the outside world is like before you make a decision. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island or stay here. He's trying to make us feel despair towards the outside world. So we'll want to stay on this island. There's no way I'm going to let him, or I'm going to do what he wants. Despair like that simply can't exist. The outside world should be filled with hope. Just like now. Perhaps. No. That's definitely it. Whether or not the incident really happened, what what in the world is this ultimate despair group? If they're devoted to certain students, who guided Hope Speak Academy to its destruction? Are they connected to both the tragedy and the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy? Plus, that organization isn't just one person. It's a group of people. But if they are known as the ultimate despair, they're high school students, right? Well, if they're actually able to do it, then I guess that's why they're called ultimates. Then are the killings were then are the killings were involved in connected to them as well it's no use i'm gonna freeze to death i'm at my limit i need to get out of here shivering i ran out of the freezing room now we're gonna get one about the ultimate despair for sure Whew, that was close i nearly froze to death so where should i go next the next room that opens up which is probably gonna be the one right behind us it would be too convenient oh uh, it's not the room that opens up So, the only ones we have left are this classroom. No, I should ignore it. I'm just going to pretend I didn't see him. Uh, when I went inside this room, that bastard bear was suddenly here. He keeps glancing at me. I wonder why. Huh. Well, it's going to be shitty either way. So, I'll let you handle it. There's no way I'm going to deal with that idiot. I don't want to deal with him either. Fine. Hiya. Ah, hello there, Hayame. I hope you're doing pleasantly well. Are you pleasing? Are you pleasingly well? You're pleasingly well, right? What are you doing here? No, no. Uh, there's another thing I needed to tell you on this floor. <laughs> I got bored of drawing manga. Can you forgive me for telling you the wor by word of mouth? You should have done that from the beginning. I didn't want to read your manga in the first place. Uh, a high school student that doesn't like manga is like a civil wrestler who doesn't like eating hot pots. I'm really getting fed up with all your babbling. Hurry up! What do we need to tell? What do you need to tell me? <laughs> it's about a key piece of information you've been waiting so long for. What? Surprise! It's about the ultimate despair. Huh? <sighs> Even though the term ultimate despair refers to the group these days, it was originally the title for a high school girl who was the most powerful, evil, and fear person alive. A high school girl. Yes, Lady Junko Inoshima. Oh my gosh. Junko Inoshima. Hey, um... As the former ultimate despair, she created a despair brimming with charm and horror. And that created the ultimate despair. <laughs> <laughs> There's was oh, only really one horrible person in that group. Hold on a second. I don't know what this ultimate dis what the ultimate despair are, but it's not easy to form an organization. There's no way people would join some fricked up high school or fricked up organization created by a high school girl. Ah, uh, humans are so obsessed with their philip phil philosophy. I was gonna say philip. What I don't even know what word I was gonna say. <laughs> I think it's philanthropy or whatever. Uh, that's not the word, but it was philosophy. Have an uncanny power to attract others. It's a trait shared by many famous leaders throughout history, right? There's nothing strange about him. Hey, um... uh, that holds true for Lady Junko. With her charismatic ability to attract people, she even influenced the highest echelon of power. Her connections were the main reason for the incident that became the tragedy in the first place. So she even recruited a people who would have been in a position to neutralize the threat. Then what was their purpose? Huh? Like I said, why did they create that incident? It doesn't make any sense. They had a purpose, right? There's no way they would just do it without any purpose. Hey, um... uh, it was Junko and Ashima's despair. Huh? For Junko and Ashima, despair is the purpose. A set of principles, a way of life, or an instinct. 
Debair, despair is what defines Junko Enoshima as Junko Enoshima. What are you saying? I'm a stuffed plushy. Hi, am as a human. It's exactly that. Junko Enoshima is full of so much despair that it is, she's truly hopeless. Living, dying, eating, loving for her. Everything is despair. What the hell? With her overwhelming force of personality, Junko recruited the ultimate despairs one by one. She controlled their despair by taking advantage of love, hate, grudges, anything really. Junko's despair is far more dreadful than any others that idea had been slammed right into her mind. And so, the ultimate despair, who had been recruited, became nothing more than Junko's limbs. All despair, whether it was their own or anyone else's, was dedicated to Junko and Ashima. But like believers of making offerings to their god, the, it, like a mother providing food to her children, they dedicated all of their despair so they could escape from despair all in Junko and Ashima's name. For example, they killed their families and friends and even destroyed their bodies through relentless mutilation. And to hopelessly top it all off, they completely believed it was something that they had to do. There's no way they something crazy is possible. Ah, uh, do you know about the final days of the Reserve Corps students during Tragedy of Hope Peak Academy? Final days? Junko has the power to change people's values. So this is true of famous people throughout history. Hey, what do you mean by final days? What happened to the Reserve Department? They fulfilled their role. As disposable limbs, they believed in what they needed to do. <laughs> and so, the 2,357 students of the Reserve Corps Department all committed a mass suicide. Mass suicide. All 2,357 students? Oops! It wasn't all of them. One person was excluded. One person was excluded, huh? Is that me? I don't believe it. There's no way I can believe this. Ultimate despair. Juko Enoshima. Ah, uh, it doesn't scare me at all. I mean, Juko Enoshima is already dead. Huh? Ultimate despair has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Reserve core has been updated in your handbook. Juko Enoshima is already dead. What does that mean? Why does Fuyuhiko know about that? I figured we were going to talk to Fuyuhiko. Hey, Fuyuhiko. Is it true what you said? Juku Inishima is already dead. What? You didn't see? There was a book called Manga for Morons Killing School Life in that bloody classroom. A bloody crass classroom. No, wait. What was that you said about the killing school life? Like the killings we were involved in. They were killings that happened at Homespeak Academy. As I recall, the mastermind took her own life because the remaining students worked together to defeat her. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what that was. The killing school life that ended up failing, falling in, or failing in the end. As a result, six students who survived managed to escape from the academy. Hey. For the manga about the killing school life, it was drawn by with silly images and dumb gags. According to that, the mastermind fell, or, be, ha, or mastermind behind the failed killing school life was Juko Inoshima. The mastermind took her own life, which means Juko Inoshima is dead. Like... It turns out the killing school life was part of that whole. Biggest, most awful, whatever incident. Juko took away the memories of former students of Hope's Peak Academy and forced them to kill each other. Former students of Hope's Peak Academy. And she took away their memories? That's just like us. Apparently this whole thing was being filmed by surveillance cameras to broadcast worldwide. There's a limit to being a cool asshole. The surveillance cameras that were broadcasting the whole thing. The students of Hope's Peak Academy were widely known as the symbols of hope. By forcing people to watch these symbols of hope kill each other, for the sake of survival, they were trying to fill everyone who watched the broadcast with despair all at once. That's all messed up! But that messed up plan was stopped. Juko Inoshima did fail. Juko lost to the students she placed in her trap. And after being overcome by despair she created, she took her own life. Then Juko is no more. No matter how horrible she was, there's no reason to fear someone who's dead. Monokuma was being awfully silent. What are we about to get? Whatever Monokuma is store, whether Monokuma's story is true or not, doesn't even matter. Juko Enoshima is not alive anymore. Then, 
Who is our enemy? If Juku Inoshima is already dead, the rest of the ultimate despair behind this are the followers Juko's carry, uh, followers of Juko carrying out her will. That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, the killings were involved in were involved in resembling like, that killing school life. Well, I don't know who the hell is imitating Juko and making us go through this, but an intimidation is just an, in that an intimidation oh, or imitation. Uh, if the students from Hope Speak Academy stopped the real deal, there's no way we'll lose to some fake. But if this really is an imitation, are those surveillance cameras the same too? The cameras all over Jabwalk Island. Are they broadcasting somewhere just like the surveillance cameras during the Killing School Life? Killing School Life has been out of the handbook. Juko has been updated. Man, Hayame, you totally knew about that story, huh? What? Do you have a problem with that? Huh, I really wanted you to read the manga version since I took the time to draw it. Oh well, I'll just raise the flag. Flag? What do you mean, raise the flag? What is going to happen when if you do that? Uh, one step at a time. You're getting closer to clearing the my chapter route. You're making not you're not making sense again. Now then, I'll give you guys my all. I'll tell you everything I know, including information outside of the in and the inside. I'll raise them flags like crazy. Now we have to be going to the garden. Huh? It changed. It's a different hallway again. We're on the fourth floor. It's so sudden. What's going on to make something like this happen? No. I've already decided that it's, I'm not going to be surprised. That's right. There's no time for me to be surprised by something like this. Uh, well, pet check. Pet check! Okay, we're good. Hi, Akane. I'm going to the headmaster's room first. No, I'm not, because I'm going the wrong way, too. Uh, my guess is that it's not going to be... It is not the headmaster's room. Nope. Is it the chem lab? No. I guess we would have known that pretty quickly. No. No. I doubt it would be the data lab. Which means it is the music room. Whoa. This looks like a music room. I feel like I can see something strange. Yeah, the monument. Looks like some sort of monument. Why would there be a monument in the music room? And not just that. The mark engraved in the monument is symbols from the Future Foundation, right? Below that symbol, there's a lot of short passages engraved. To combat the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, the, graduate of Hope, the graduates of Hope Peak Academy were among the many who established the Future Foundation. Huh? The Future Foundation was established by the graduates of Hope Peak Academy. Aren't they known as World Ender? This is completely different. Monokuma... He completely made it up. The future foundation's origins has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. What is this? Words are floating in the air. It's like a hologram, right? The floating letters are forming a sentence. It looks like a passage in the form of an email. Regarding the port we gave you the other day. We have obtained information, a person who claims to be the survivor of Hope Peak Academy. Upon further investigation, there are a total of 15 survivors. You may be wondering about the number of people at this time. If they're survivors of Hope Peak Academy, it's possible they may be targeted by the ultimate despair. We believe we should acquire them and place them in our care as soon as possible. Though, I don't believe the group can go that far without Grujuko and Ashima rallying them. In a worst case scenario, we must prevent the repeat of a killing school life. Also, if there are survivors of Hope Peak Academy, we would expect them to be quite valuable to us. 
However, we are still investigating the details of their origins, and we have not located them either. We will continue to investigate the matter. Also regarding a separate matter, we have received a report from the research facility on Jabberwock Island. Preparations have been completed. It seems we can protect or proceed with the experimental phase of a the Neo World program. Survivors of Hopi, Hopi Academy, 15 students. Is that about us? Excluding Chiaki, who would be part of the future foundation. There were definitely 15 of us, but what do survivors mean? It's like they're taking from some other world. What happened outside of Jabok Island? If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is really true, then the world isn't normal anymore, maybe. I'm starting to feel like we might be better off remembering the, not remembering the memories we lost. The Academy Survivors has been added to the Truth Bullet section of the handbook. I guess it's all the clues in this room. It is finally confirmed the Future Foundation was on our side, at least. They were founded by the great graduates of Hope Bank Academy, and they took us in to protect us. But if that's true, Chiaki should have made it clear to us. No, as long as Monokuma was around, she could prob he probably couldn't say anything carelessly. Monokuma, if he's the Future Foundation's enemy, then his true identity must be the ultimate despairs who caused the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The ones who are carrying out the will of Juko and Ashima are making us go through this. Also, this caught my attention in the email too. What is this research facility on Jabberwock Island mentioned in the email? What is that about? Only the Future Foundation faculty we found would, was that ancient ruin. There's no way that's the research facility. If there really is a research facility on this island, there should be other Future Foundation members here. Somehow, there's still so many mysteries. Uh, yeah, of course there is. Mysteries galore. Um, well, first off... Okay, don't have to worry about that. What is our next room that could be open? Uh, I'm gonna take a guess and say Headmasters. But I, again, I could be wrong. I'm like... Nope, I am wrong. I'm glad I noticed that. This feels different from a classroom. Maybe. It's possibly the office, right? I mean, the room is kind of has that stuffy teacher vibe to it. The office, huh? Now that you mentioned it, it does look like that. No. More importantly, have you seen Miss Sonia? I don't see her anywhere. How much longer is this guy going to be obsessed with Sonia? Just give it up already. Honestly, I feel that. There's letters floating in the air, just like the music room earlier. It looks like a passage in the email someone wrote. I think it's the same from earlier. I guess I should read it. We understand this matter regarding the survivors. In order to safely acquire them, please do your best to continue your investigation. However, you must exercise extreme caution concerning the remnants of despair. Even though they have not, they have lost Junko and Ashima, the fact remains they are still incredibly dangerous. Even after her death, the tragedy has not ended. Perhaps... There's a, still a leader on par with Junko Inoshima. As long as we do nothing about the remnants of despair, we will not be able to end this incident. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. Everything is for the sake of a shining future. I mean, immediately eliminated? Does that mean this is in order to kill them? That doesn't sound peaceful at all. Well, I guess that's understandable. If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is as terrible as it sounds, it's pretty much an all-out war. If the remnants of despair are the ones waging that war, there's no way they'd be forgiven that easily. Remnants of despair has been added to the truthful section of the handbook. List of subjects. Hmm? There's something written on the blackboard. What's written here? List of subjects is written on the blackboard in large letters just below. The names, I've seen them before. There's a newspaper post, newspaper post on the uh, blackboard below. Kyoko Sayanji is written. What is in this newspaper? Is she a teacher? What is this? It says, Miss... Hiyoko Sianji. This can't be right. This can't be the same Hiyoko, right? I mean, the Hiyoko we knew. She was much smaller and looked more childlike. It was 
pretty much def her defining feature. But the photo in the newspaper, in a way, I can see the resemblance to Hyoko, but her height and figure, it's too different from the Hyoko we knew. Well, what does this mean? Hmm? This lady looks pretty mature. Is she Hyoko's older sister or something? No, it says Hyoko Seanji on it. Uh. Oh, then Hyoko has an older sister with the same first and last name then. Kazuichi, bruh. An older sister with the same first and last name, really. I mean... That's the only explanation, right? I mean, look at it for yourself. That is not Hyoko. But did you ever hear her mention an older sister before? Uh, well, it's not like I was close to her or anything. She doesn't have an older sister. Hyoko is the Siyaji family's only daughter. If she doesn't have a sister, then a relative. No. There's still too much of a resemblance. What are you saying? That's Hyoko? Huh? Of course not. What are you saying? Hyoko doesn't have a curvy body like that. I mean, she was famous for a childlike figure. She got away with all kinds of crap for looking like it. Well. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she had a growth spurt. What are you saying? She's already dead. There's no way she could have had a growth spurt. <laughs> Today, well, I'm uh, regardless of that, all the clues I've provided are true. If they weren't, it wouldn't be fair. What's going on? What the heck is the truth? If this is the truth that Hyoko's in this newspaper, is he really saying that this is the same person? That's impossible. I mean. How can there be a photo of a grown-up Hyoko when she's already dead? Why does it even exist? Hey, hey. Could it be related to the list of subjects over there? Huh? This is bad. If it says subjects, maybe it means there was some kind of experiment, right? Did, did an experiment change Hyoko's body? Oh, what am I saying? Just saying it out loud makes it sound messed up. What experiment? If it's some kind of experiment, would it mean that we also were all test subjects, right? I mean... Our names are also written on, written on the blackboard under list of suspects. What kind of experiment was it? What's going on? It better not have been something to do with time travel. List of subjects has been added to the truth quote section of the handbook. Jaime Chiaki. What the heck? An extremely overwhelming portrait is hanging on the wall. I feel like I've seen it before, but the name etched into it, the placard says, Hope Peaks Academy's founder, Ezerua, Ezeru Kamakara. What? The founder of Hope Speak Academy and the name, Ezeru Kamakara. Doesn't this clearly contradict the information I obtained earlier? Damn it, another mystery. The Academy's founder has been added to the truthful inspection of your handbook. <sighs> okay, with this, you've totally raised all the red flags on this floor. Congratulations, Hayami. You shall now move on to the next stage. Next stage. Now we're going down a floor again. Damn it, not again. The hallway is different from last time. I guess... When the flag Monokuma mentioned is raised, it's moved to I've moved to a totally different hallway than the last. But how can he do that? Now's the time to be confused by that. Thinking about it is just going to make me waste my energy. And in the next episode of Danganronpa Wall 2, Goodbye Despair, we are going to continue our investigation. And we're just going to like get into it real quick.